Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon on Tuesday and uh, greetings from the garage. Um, I'm sorry it's been a while since I made uh, a video. Uh, I've been having some problems with my health and uh, I really just kind of struggled with having enough energy to do anything uh, in the last couple months. But I am on the mend. Um, every day I feel a little bit stronger and uh, I can eat more and more so <clears throat> so yeah eventually I'll be back up to 100% it's just real slow and uh, you know what else can I do I mean what else am I supposed to do get pissed off shit it is what it is but anyways um, I'm in the garage and the Plymouth is gone um, it got to the point where I realized there was just no way I was ever going to be able to get to the project um, I, of course, just was too out of it from the medications and the, dr and, uh, the lack of energy to do anything. And uh, my dad, who's ailing, you know, can't walk down the hallway anymore. So there's no way he's going to be turning wrenches with me. And my brother showed an interest in it. Um, he owns a speed and hot rod shop a couple of cities away from here. And uh, he laid his eyes on it and I can tell that light bulbs are going off in his head. So I just offered it to him. It was his birthday anyway. So yeah, he came and towed it away. He, he's having a family, so uh, I'm sure he's going to use it as a family car. We'll see that car again. Um, I might even get to drive it, <laughs> which would be kind of nice. I had all kinds of dreams for that thing, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, um, right now I am uh, taking care of my dad's affairs uh, as the end approaches and so I had to buy a truck. Um, I had a 1980 F-350 one-ton truck that got absolutely rotten gas mileage at six to eight miles per gallon and the engine blew up on me. Uh, my brother has that truck too at his ranch which is about five, six hours away from here. Um, I didn't feel like buying a new engine for it because it's a 400 big block and quite expensive. So I said, you know what, for a quarter, for a fraction of that price, um, I went and got this it's a 1984 uh, Ford F-150 uh, pickup truck. It's in the deluxe trim, two-tone paint. Um, it's in absolutely wonderful condition. It's got a ton of miles on it, but uh, the original owner, which I got it from, a very, very friendly gentleman, um, really took care of it. It always sat in the garage. So, and I got it for cheap. Um, he just finally bought a new truck. And I'm like, you know, all right. I'll buy it. I know how to take care of it. And uh, she's got some problems. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be underneath the truck uh, replacing the transmission mount and uh, both motor mounts. Um, the transmission mount for sure is busted and one of the two motor mounts are busted. I'm just going to replace all of them. They're really, really cheap. It's like under $15 for each of them. Um, replace the U-joints as well. Um, the challenging part is I have to replace the uh, TTB pivot bushings, uh, which I'm going to make videos on. In fact, I'm going to be making videos on all of this uh, uh, to make the thing, you know, a daily driver for me. Uh, oh, by the way, that truck gets about 16 miles per gallon, uh, up to 17 as I've seen. It's the same kind of thing. It's got dual tanks and all that stuff, the exact same setup uh, as my F350, but it doesn't suck. So, uh, watch out for those videos in the next several days as I go through it. Uh, and uh, I'll show you how to maintain your AOD uh, and do the basics on uh, pivots and motor mounts and, you know, all the shortcuts that I take uh, to do this stuff because I've been doing it all my life. Um, I just power wash the driveway to get ready for it because I don't feel like, you know, lying down in mold because the whole driveway was covered in moss and I had to do something about it. And I used that little green thing there. I got that at Harbor Freight for 99 bucks. Uh, it's a 120 volt electric uh, power washer. It does the trick. Um, it's just good enough. You know, if that's all you're interested in, it's good enough. Harbor Freight's usually a good place to go where you don't have to spend a lot of money on stuff. <laughs> and that's what, I, that's what I did. And you know, as you can see, Big Blue is still, is still parked. Uh, 
pretty much asleep. I go out there every week and I start her up and you know every couple of weeks I'll take drag her out of the driveway and I'll drive her around the block. I'll go down the freeway make sure everything's still running right and then park her for another little while uh, until I start her up. Um, I'm going to be working on that too as the months come around. The interior is getting a little bit shabby here and there. She still doesn't leak any water so I'm happy about that. Um, the weather here uh, the uh, whatchamacallit the fire that's up north from here the giant one um, which I can't remember it's not the paradise fire it's something else um, it's still raging and the winds are picking up already and there's this just thick blanket of haze um, I can smell the fire from here and the uh, ash is coming down on everything so my allergies are just going crazy and uh, I went and got some breathing masks for everybody at the house just in case and I turned on all the air conditioners uh, and cleared the filters so that you know we get some clean air on the inside of the house I think I think we'll be okay uh, the power outages are getting kind of annoying though because I can only do things for a few minutes or a couple hour window before they decide to shut everything off again I'm like shit but anyway that's besides the point um, again tomorrow I'm going to be working on the F-150 uh, I'm going to be shooting some video on it and posting it um, and I'm going to be trying something I'm going to turn tilt the camera down here on the garage floor while I was at Harbor Freight uh, I just kind of made an impulse buy um, I was looking for a cordless ratchet a 3 8 ratchet to save some wear and tear on my wrists as I get older um, you know because spinning uh, ratchets and wrenches gets a little old after a while so I went and bought and something expendable too so um, I found a coupon uh, for the what is this, what is this? Uh, earthquake XT 3 8 cordless ratchet and here it is 12 volt uh, battery um, I can't tell yeah it's lithium it's pretty substantial and it's really heavy wow man I mean this is all metal this looks a lot like uh, my air ratchets and uh, let me show you what my air ratchets look like if I have any Well, no, oh, I don't have my 3 8 one, but here's my quarter. Works great. I've had this for years. Oh, wait, this is a 3 8 This is my mini one. Huh, I forgot I had this. But this is actually quite a bit heavier than this and as I know this that's just because there's no electric motor in here and this is air powered and I'm going to be comparing it to my go-to tomorrow as I take apart the uh, oil pan and take apart the transmission mount to do a full service to the transmission with my go-to this is a Milwaukee M12 3 8 ratchet cordless same thing 12 volts lithium ion but this is like half the weight not built quite as robust now that Earthquake XT one was advertised to have 60 foot-pounds of torque I really doubt it um, I tried breaking some bolts with it and I compared it to the Milwaukee they seem to be about the same um, which is about 35 40 foot-pounds but we'll, we'll see I mean we'll see how it performs tomorrow I'll make a video on it uh, and uh, yeah so watch out for it uh, now that my energy is coming back um, and I feel more like myself, I'm going to start making videos again because I kind of miss it. It's pretty boring sitting around in my room, you know, being tired all the time. And then uh, going to doctors and having them pretend I'm a giant pincushion, sticking with needles all the time, which really doesn't make me very happy. So, yep, that's what's going on, guys. Uh, see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, just as a sidebar. I can't believe I just spent three hours 
driving all over creation looking for the most basic thing that at one time not too long ago I could have gone anywhere you know even mom and pop hardware store and been able to find for under three bucks and that is a basic 5 sixteenths inline fuel filter nobody carries this anymore And I attribute that mostly to where I am living right now, which is Silicon Valley. You know, Teslas don't use fuel filters, right? So everybody's up, up to their eyeballs and iPhones and uh, iPads and whatever, which is all good till the power goes out, um, which people are kind of figuring out right now because, you know, as I drive down the street and I, the power is out and people are walking around with their staring at their iPhones, and their smartphones and they're not getting anything because all the cell phone towers are out they all look completely lost so yeah okay that was it that was my gripe